The most valuable lesson is that when you are given an opportunity, don't waste it because time, procrastination is the waste of time. So when you're given an opportunity and you decide to waste it, it's not going to come back around. Years are, go are going by. I love maths because maths actually needs you to think. Um, it requires you to have so much knowledge, it allows you to practice. And for some reason, I feel like it keeps you organized. It's so fascinating, especially when you see everything that you are being taught in class being applied in your life. It just, it just feels amazing. You know? I resist peer pressure by choosing good friends. Friends that know what they want in life. Friends that are always studying. Uh, friends that do not that do not get involved into such things like alcohol, drugs, and whatever. Kutlanong for me means struggling for the best. Performance has taught me to manage my time, to focus on my studies, and to prioritize. I resist peer pressure by knowing myself because I grew up knowing who I am and what I want, so I, I don't get pressured. In three years' time, I, I, I want to be a doctor uh, due to, to a lack of doctors in our country. Kutlanong for me means life. It actually unleashed the, the potential that I never thought I had. It's family. If it wasn't for Kutlanong, I wouldn't have obtained the mark that I got in physical sciences. It's love, spirit, hard work and determination. Oh, everything, basically. Opportunities for me. Kutlanong for me means success. For me, means the world. I will be the first one in my whole family to go to varsity, so that serves as, served as a, a very, very big motivation for me. They've redefined my life, really. This was a platform for me to see my potential. I never really thought that I could get distinctions in medicine science. Good learning for me means hope. Being able to make a new start. Everything that a fellow South African child would ever wish for. They came to our township and made us aware about the shortage of mathematics and science learners in, in the country. The teachers, the time that they spend with us, they really care about the quality of education that we must get. In grade 9 I used to get 23%, but then I ended up getting 99% because of Kukano. So it means a lot. I went to Kwatuga Chole Comprehensive School in Fuking Section located in Katlong Township. Well, it has always been my dream to get into the Kutlanong project. I heard of it that there are some learners doing exceptionally well in maths and science and I thought I need to go there. So when I, was, I started grade 10, I said I want to do maths and science first because those are the quality subjects that South Africa needs. I achieved 100% in mathematics for the final exams in last year and I got 97% in physical sciences. A BSc in biochemistry and chemistry student at UCT. I won the top regional performer and I received an award for the distinction in mathematics. I wasn't the strongest math student. I've improved in my academic life, I've improved in my social life because it's, it's a space where we get to meet new people and you get to do academics. They make it fun to learn. I passed my metric with six distinctions. I got 100% for maths and 92 for science. Well, it has taught me leadership, discipline, you know, the importance of actually hard work. I know how to spread out my time a lot more evenly across all the things I have to do. ProMath has helped me uh, see a teacher in me. I don't want to be a doctor, but I want to produce doctors. I want to produce engineers and open my own schools in future. They've, they've actually killed this whole myth of maths and science are too hard and whatnot, or maths and science are not for, for black children, or maths and science is not for kids who actually attend government schools. You know, such stereotypes they've actually you know, eliminated. In five years' time, I see myself as an actuary and as a physical science teacher. In five years' time, I see myself having my degree finishing all my 15 border exams. My dad always says, in order to live like a king, you have to work like a slave. So yeah, uh, I always tell my friends to burn the candle at, in both ends. They need to study hard so that they uh, would succeed in life. In five years time, I see myself being in UCT, studying Bachelor in Medicine and Bachelor in Surgery. As a fifth year medical student at Vets University. I've been nearly done with my medicine degree since I want to be a doctor. As a first student, studying chemical engineering. In UCT, doing my fifth year medicine. I hope I'll be driving my own car by then. I want to see myself as an electrical engineer. Kutanung is a program 
that gives learners an opportunity to discover themselves. Kitano means life. The biggest thing I've learned being in the Kitano, firstly it's sacrifice. You need to sacrifice everything in order to succeed. Help me to have problem solving skills. And it has taught me how to manage my time and how to balance my work, my schoolwork and the Kutlano work. So through the Kutlano program, I'm able to handle all my stuff, do everything in due time, all my assignments in due time. Understand that you have the potential to do more, so do more. Uh, as a person, you have to think out of the box. It has helped me put more effort and become more consistent in my schoolwork to have confidence in myself. How to solve, how to analyze. I saw that I've been working hard, but not hard enough. I am going to university next year. Yeah, I'm good enough.